An atoll is a coral reef that surrounds a shallow lagoon. It begins as reef that grows around an island, usually a volcano. Over time, and with the right conditions, the reef continues to grow while the volcano cools and begins to sink. A lagoon forms between the receding land and the fringing reef. Ultimately, the island sinks completely, and we're left with only the ring of coral reef. An atoll may take as long as 30 million years to form. They're the most ancient structures in the warm seas where the reef-building corals can thrive. A typical atoll is ring-shaped and 5 to 20 miles across, but they can be smaller or much larger as well. A lot of the reef is below the surface of the water, but usually around the rim there are low, flat islands called motus. The lagoon itself is relatively shallow, maybe a hundred feet deep or so, and there are often patches of reef, sometimes called bommies, that are strewn throughout it. Some atolls have gaps or passes big enough to allow a sailboat to enter. Navigating these passes can be tricky business. Even with good navigational charts, there are often unmarked shallow patches and strong currents. Some areas of the world have good charts, but some look like a child's art project. I'll never forget entering our first reef pass. I was really afraid of running up on the reef or being overwhelmed by the current. And once inside the atoll, there were bombies everywhere. With practice, we became so much more confident in reading the depth of the water. Now we love to sail as close to the reefs as we can, and we routinely visit areas with no charts available at all. As long as the sun is high in the sky, the water color really tells the story of the depth better than any chart. Light and brown equals shallow water, and green and blue is deeper. After we got through our first reef pass and made it across this obstacle course of bombies, we found the most perfect place to anchor. We were totally overwhelmed by how beautiful this place was. These atolls are like giant playgrounds, and one of our favorite things to do was just go exploring. We spent so much time exploring the underwater world of coral reefs all across the Pacific. It was just amazing to see the phenomenal amount of life on these reefs. The color, beauty, and variety of life on the reef is staggering. Floating over the reef, it is difficult to understand how there can be so many different beautiful shapes and styles of living creature. The longer you look, the more life that comes into focus.
The other great joy of visiting coral atolls is hanging out with the birds. Most of the atolls we went to were so remote that birds, and turtles for that matter, had taken them over as nesting sites. Incredibly, some of these bird species spend most of their lives on the open ocean, only returning to land every several years to breed. shorebird that we saw and also some frigates. But it's, there's, it's amazing. I've never really seen this many birds anywhere in my life. meet many different kinds of people out sailing the world's oceans, young and old. We sailed with new friends from all over the world, Europe, Australia, South Africa. We often sailed from place to place in groups for company and safety, and then went exploring on our own before meeting up again at another island further on. The real reason God created coral reefs is to produce amazing surf spots. The tropical Pacific is literally bristling with empty perfect waves. Here are a few we caught on film. Oh, uh-huh. 